Welcome back. Well, day two of the Mighty Dream Forum kicked off with a conversation with Pharrell Williams and other business leaders on financial equity for small business owners. Casey Baylor joins us live now from the Mighty Dream Tent. And Casey, what were these leaders saying that can actually help? Yeah, well, Bethany, Pharrell and those leaders say it takes more than just investing in up and coming entrepreneurs and companies. They say mentorship and also making opportunities available for them are what helped to keep the mighty dream alive for many years to come. We need people or we need organizations or programs that will help connect the dots between, okay, you have the education, what is your next step? In a conversation on financial equity, Pharrell Williams sat down with leaders of two investment bank companies. We really power companies and entrepreneurs behind the scene. Jim Reynolds, the CEO of Loop Capital, says it's about educating communities and providing opportunities. You know, African Americans sit at almost the bottom of almost every measure, economic measure that we have. He says opening doors in underrepresented communities can change a person's outlook on life. There are options. There are opportunities. People just often don't know how to access them. And so it's just accessibility and making sure people know. And for Pharrell, that means bringing forums like Mighty Dream to his home here in Hampton Roads. As much as we can do to bring people here to highlight what's possible, that's my job. And Reynolds says his company is also working with HBCUs to offer more opportunities to students um, when it comes to um, working and interning in a Wall Street firms, while Barker says her company is on a minority advisory committee where they work with the community to learn more about how they can provide more resources in order to create equity. That's the latest here in Norfolk. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Thanks, Casey. And Pharrell says that his Mighty Dream Forum is to remind young people what's possible for them. And a lot is happening in the Neon District today and downtown. There's a chance for local entrepreneurs to shoot their shot for a chance at $50,000 to get their next big business idea off the ground. It's called Pull Up and Pitch. You heard Ashley mention it earlier. It's starting at 3 o'clock. Here's how it'll work. Each participant will have 60 seconds, that is one minute, to pitch their business to three judges. Each judge can then endorse an idea by awarding a gift card. The top pitches will advance to a final round to win additional funding. Now this competition is starting at three o'clock and lasts till six. Things like this happening all over the place. That This is what this forum is about, Ashley. And this event is a big part of Pharrell's big block party, which is happening today from four to seven tonight. Tell us more about that. Yeah, Bethany, a lot of preparations already underway for the business block party. I mean, take a look around. You can see folks are milling around. You can hear the sounds of preparations. It's very busy already down down here. We've been out here as people have been going back and forth. This business block party is expected to bring 2000 people to the neon district packing the streets. It's going to start, as Bethany mentioned, at four o'clock and then run until seven. And as Bethany also just talked about, the pull and pitch will be happening uh, kind of overlapping with the business block party. So that runs from three until six o'clock. So just a reminder there, it's gonna be busy down here, locally sourced food and drinks, local musicians performing, a chance to network with business leaders. So as you can imagine, this block party is going to cause some major backup. So just take a look at your screen, lots of roads and restrictions to look out for in terms of closures for this evening. This is a very extensive list. So this will also be on 13newsnow.com as well. But just want to give you a heads up. If you are not coming to the block party tonight, try to avoid the neon district. If you can, it is going to be busy and it's going to be difficult to get around. But of course, we're going to be following the block party and we'll give you the very latest coming up later this afternoon. Bethany, back to you. All right. Thanks, Ashley. When the Mighty Dream Forum runs until tomorrow afternoon, stick with 13 News Now as we bring you live coverage of all the events happening throughout the day. You can follow along on air, online, and of course, on the 13 News Now app.